Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of locus of the author center that we need to find. So basically the question says, we need to find the locus of the ortho center of the triangle, which is formed by the lines. One line is given to us, one plus P into X minus PY plus P into one plus P is equal to zero. The other line is again same, but instead of P I have Q, so one plus Q into X minus QY plus Q into one plus Q is equal to zero. And the third line is Y equals to zero, right? So basically these three lines are given to us and we need to find the locus of the ortho center, which is formed of that triangle. So let's say if I have this triangle, what is ortho center first of all? So if I explain it to you, ortho center is nothing but point of intersection of the altitudes which you form on the sides of the triangle. So this intersection point is nothing but the ortho center. So if I join this altitude also, so basically this point is nothing but your ortho center. Now to find the locus of the ortho center, we'll first need the coordinates of the ortho center. For that, we'll first need the equation of this altitude, which I have formed to the sides. To find that line equations, we will first need this coordinates of the triangle, right? So first of all, what we'll achieve is we'll find the coordinates of the triangle that I can have. And once I get this coordinates of the triangle, I can find the equation of this altitudes by using equation of line y equals to fx plus c. And once I get these equations of line, I can just find the intersection point of ortho center by solving any two equations out of the three altitudes, right? So first of all, let's try to find this vertices of the triangle. Now, how to find the vertices of the triangle? Basically, we have been given three equations of line. So solving two equations at a time, we can get a coordinate of a triangle. So if I solve first two equations of line, I'll get one coordinate of a triangle. Solving these two equations, I'll again get one coordinate of a triangle. And then this and this, I'll again get one coordinate of a triangle, right? So first of all, let's find this intersection points of the lines by solving these two equations at once. So out of three, if I take the first two equations now, solve it, what I get is one plus px minus py plus one plus p into p is equal to zero. And the second equation, I know it is one plus q into x minus qy plus q into one plus q is equal to zero. Now, if I equate y from both of those equations, what I can get about y is it's one plus p into x plus p into one plus p is equal to py. So here I get y as one plus p I can take common from the left. So I'm left with x plus p upon p. Simultaneously here also if I equate y, what I can get as one plus q x plus q into one plus q is equal to q into y. So y becomes again one plus q into x plus q upon q. Now if I equate this two y's here in this equation, what I get is one plus p into x plus p upon p is equal to one plus q into x plus q upon q. So if I take q here and p here, it becomes q into one plus p into x plus p is equal to, this becomes p into one plus q into x plus q. Now if I solve this further, what I get is q into one plus p into x plus q into p into one plus p is equal to p into one plus q into x plus p into q into one plus q, right? So if I equate this x on one side, what I get here is q plus q into p. Here, if I take these two terms on the left, it becomes minus p and minus pq into x, that's equal to pq, if I take it out common only, it's q plus one, and p plus one, if it comes here, becomes minus p minus one. So this gets canceled, or I can get here as, here also I can see pq, pq also gets canceled, what I'm left with, q minus p into x is equal to p 
P into Q and Q minus P. So again, Q minus P also gets cancelled here. I get X is equal to P. So I get X. Now, if I put that here, I can get Y also. So Y becomes 1 plus Q into PQ plus Q upon Q. So that gives me 1 plus Q, P plus 1, and Q common. So Q, Q gets cancelled. What I get is 1 plus Q into 1 plus P as well. Right? So I get the first coordinate by solving the first two equations of line. So if I write that, what I have got is, so if I write this, I have got here X is, so basically this coordinate Let's say this coordinate is A, this is B, and this is C. So first coordinate, I have got X as P, Q, and Y is 1 plus Q into 1 plus P. So 1 plus P into 1 plus Q, right? So this is my X and Y coordinate that I've got. Now let's solve the second and third equation to get the coordinates of P. Then I'll solve first and third equation to get the coordinates of C, right? Let's see. So if I solve the next two equations. So one equation was 1 plus q into x minus qy plus q into 1 plus q is equal to 0 with y equals to 0. Right. So I can just substitute y equals to 0. I'll get x here. So I can substitute y equals to 0 in this equation. So it becomes 1 plus q into x minus 0 plus q into 1 plus q is equal to 0. So what I get here is 1 plus q x is equal to minus q add 1 plus q. I can cancel 1 plus q from both sides. So I get the x coordinate also. So x coordinate is minus q. Y we already know it is 0. So I also get the coordinates of the intersection of second and third line. So that is my coordinate b let's say. So minus q comma 0. Now if I solve first and third I'll get the third coordinate as well. So if I solve that again the first statement or the first equation was 1 plus p into x minus py plus p 1 plus p is equal to 0. So what I get it with intersection of y equals to 0. So y if I substitute again 0 same thing 1 plus p into x plus p into 1 plus p is equal to 0. So 1 plus p into x is equal to minus p into 1 plus p. Again this cancels you get x coordinate again as the same thing minus p. So you have x coordinate minus p, y coordinate c. So you get the third coordinate also for the triangle and that is minus p comma c. So once I have all three of them, now let's try to find the equation of this lines. And once we get, or instead of finding the equations of the lines, I can just find the slope, right? So if I just plot this, so minus p comma zero and q comma zero. So if I actually plot this on the graph, let's say x axis, y axis, let's say minus p comma zero minus q comma zero. So this is let's say minus q comma zero, this is minus p comma zero. So both of them will lie on the x axis since their y coordinate is zero. We know this is coordinate b, this is c. So basically one, equation of the line if you want to find out. So such is your triangle now. The third coordinate also we know it is PQ and 1 plus P into 1 plus Q. Right? So this is our A third coordinate. Now if I want to find the equation of the altitudes basically this altitude if you see it's perpendicular to x axis means it's parallel to y axis, right? And if I want to know the equation of the line, which is parallel to y axis, it's always x equals to something and x coordinate here is pq. So here, if you see x is equal to pq because this distance from y axis nothing but x coordinate, right? So that is pq. So the equation of this line becomes x equals to pq, right? Now, instead of finding both the remaining two altitudes, we'll just try to find one single altitude. Once we get the one single altitude, we can just find the orthocenter by <coughs> solving the equations of the line to find the point of intersection, right? So for that, we'll need this equation of line. So let's try to find this equation of the line. I can write it as y equals to mx plus c. I already know that 
if I want to find the equation of this line, minus p comma zero is the point which satisfies this line. So I can substitute y and x as the coordinates of c. But to find that, first of all, let's find the slope of this line. How to find the slope of this line? Basically, so to find the slope of this line, what we will do is we'll find the slope of the line AB. And once we get the slope of the line AB, we can just use the idea of perpendicular lines that product of slopes is minus one. So negative reciprocal of each other, if I use it, I get the slope of this line from C, right? So I'll mark this, let's say this is D and let's say this is E, right? So first of all, let's find the slope of line AB. So if I find the slope of line AB, that's y2 minus y1 upon h2 minus x1. So y2, y1, if I see, that is 1 plus p into 1 plus q minus 0. So that is 1 plus p into 1 plus q minus 0 upon x2 minus x1 is pq plus q. So if I take out 1 plus p into 1 plus q is present. So if I take out q common here, what I get is p plus 1 into q. So this cancels. I get the slope of the line as 1 plus q by q, right? So if I need the slope of the altitude line, which is CE, slope of the altitude line that is CE, we already know it's perpendicular to this line AB. So the what happens is we can just take the negative reciprocal of the slope of AB. So if I take it, negative reciprocal of this entire idea, that's equal to minus Q upon Q plus one, right? So this is our slope of the line CE. So now I have it in this equation, y is equal to minus Q upon one plus Q into X plus C, right? Now to find C, I know this line has a point C which satisfies this equation of line. So I can substitute Y as zero and C as minus P to get this C, that is your Y plus Z. Right? So if I substitute that, what I get is, this is 0, y is 0, x is minus p. So it becomes minus q into minus p, so p into q upon minus plus c. So c basically gives me it is minus pq upon 1 plus q. So if I substitute that, what I get here is y equals to mx plus c. We have m already with us now, that is minus q upon q plus 1 into x. And C also I've got that as minus PQ upon Q plus one. So what I get here is I can take out minus Q common X plus P upon Q plus one, right? So this is my equation of line for the slope or the altitude drawn to this side AB, right? So I get the equation of line here that says Y is equal to minus q x plus p upon 1 plus q, right? So I have both of these equations of line with me. One is x equals to this and other is y in terms of x. Now, once I have both of these line equations, I can just find the coordinates of the orthocenter by solving these two equations at a time. So once I solve these two equations, I get the points of intersection. One line was x equals to pq. The other line was y equals to minus q into x plus p upon 1 plus q. So if I substitute x as pq in this only, to find the point of intersection, what I get is minus q, pq plus p upon 1 plus q. I can take out minus q, p common, so again q plus 1 upon 1 plus q. So this and this is gone, I get minus pq as the answer. So once I solve these two equations, I get that coordinates of orthocenter. So the coordinates of the orthocenter are pq and minus pq. Now if I just want to find the locus of the orthocenter, I know x is equal to pq y is equal to minus pq. So if I just add them, what I get? pq minus pq. So that gives me x plus y becomes zero. And once x plus y equals to zero, this is what both of them have the highest power one here. So basically that is the idea for a line and the locus of orthocenter is a line.
and we have been asked in the question that what is the locus of orthocenter forming either a ellipse circle line parabola or hyperbola so we get it is a straight line and the answer or the option that matches with the question is right i hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions so i'll revise it once again for you what we did first is we were given three equations of line solving two equations at once we found the three coordinates for the triangle once we got the three coordinates for the triangle we found two equations of altitudes right one we directly found it because line was parallel to y axis and the other we found it by using y equals to mx plus c and once we got the two equations of altitudes we can just find the coordinates of orthocenter by solving that two equations of lines like we did here and once I got the coordinates of all the center, I added them and I got them zero. So I got x plus y is equal to zero is the focus of the auto center which was asked, and that matches with the option D because it is a straight line. Right? I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share, and subscribe if you're finding this helpful. It takes a lot of efforts to make these videos for you. So please do subscribe. Thank you.